Hey guys, it's Mr. Vanner from Make Another Short Video on the um, structure and function when it comes to the toothpick water tower. So take a look. Here's a bunch of uh, towers right here. And I wanted to show you some different designs, right? This one was kind of a memorial to, uh, in honor of the Twin Towers. Someone made this one here. You've got some others that have triangular kind of sides coming out with a wider base. Uh, but uh, this one obviously has a lot of glue. You don't want that. You want to make sure you use as little glue as possible. Um, also, take a look here. You see a lot of triangular shapes here. I see a triangle here, triangle here. Uh, these cross braces are incredibly um, important for the tower swaying back and forth. And even when it comes to compression and tension, they really hold the tower together. Um, even this one here, you can see some cross braces. And that's used in framing and construction building houses as well. But take a look at this one. Take a close look here. I don't see any triangles here or any cross braces. And so what you have happen, take a look. When you put it in the crusher, this is what happens. And then just pops right back up because they used uh, hot glue. So again, once it's down like that, you know, you're know you out, right? The competition's over. The, the tower's crushed. And I know it's bouncing back up. It's not like you know the resurrection tower here coming back to life. Okay? So take a look. Cross braces would be really important. So watch, if I take this tower here, uh, let's say this one, and I put it right here in the crusher, and then I take one brick, remember it's five pounds or 2.27 kilograms, representing 250,000 gallons of water. So I go ahead and put that in. Let's take a look. And that's holding two bricks and then three bricks, and then we keep going up here. I think the most, and that's holding really well, I think the most that we've ever had is over 300 pounds that a tower that was 10 grams or less held. So I'm gonna put this one back. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this one with no cross braces, and let's see what happens here. So I'm gonna put it right here. There we go. Set it down gently like that. And then we put one five pound. And, whoa, just pops back up. But again, it's very important that you have cross braces in your tower design, your uh, toothpick water tower design, where it's not gonna be able to hold those um, thousands of gallons of water. Remember, one gallon, I believe, is eight pounds. So if you have a uh, 250,000 gallon uh, water tank on top of a water tower, it's about 2 million pounds of water. So again, please make sure you put cross braces in your toothpick tower. Hopefully uh, this video is helpful.